Skybrush, come over here, gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids, you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. I found them. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so... Lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> You kids better have money! Uh, yeah! We've got all kinds of money! Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure! If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you! You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Yeah, let's get scurvy dogs instead. I'm hungry. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. Nah, I want to get scurvy dogs. I once got a scurvy dog that was... We'll get some scurvy dogs and then go play over there. Hey, Chucky. Get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. The words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. The words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with- It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Good, you unlocked it. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. <laughs> Gross. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. A 
fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Gross. Ugh, what is this stuff? It smells the same as the toilet. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid. Anchor? <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sale. You can still find the on a modern bathtub event. The little f most ink about third all. Oh, but the old the word and they're called that because when you yeah. <laughs> hey Chucky, wanna race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> I once had the hiccups. Hey, hands off. Excuse me. Yes? Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? Run along and find your real parents. Excuse me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Our bread. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days they have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 Gotta run! How rude. Don't feed the duck. I want to feed the duck! I wonder where this path goes. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Do you want a sword fight with me? You don't look very challenging. Do you want a sword fight with me? You don't look... Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. Ah, 
awesome! There was still one left? Darn! Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your arm? Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? The Chuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, uh, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no. I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. 
It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's dedicated to dedication. I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck is up to. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. 